We've been on the water in Venice for most of the day, and so far, we haven't had any big catches. I'm getting worried. It's not time to worry. It's time to catch fish. Got to get it done. Yes, you do. One thing I've learned in my fishing career, if something's not working, it's time to make a change. All right, guys, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take five baits, put them in the bucket. We're going to put the hook bait in the bucket as well. We're going to coil off a ton of line off the reels and free spool with the hook bait in the bucket. Gotcha. When we come by the birds, where the birds are diving, where the tunas are actually busting the surface, we're going to take the bucket, we're going to throw it behind the boat. Jerry's going to hit the throttles, create a big whitewash, and then we're going to pull away from it, all right? So the idea with this kind of fishing is to throw the baits back into the whitewash so they get all confused, and then the tunas come up to eat them. You heard that from some guy at the bar or something? No. All right, maybe last night, but you got to find the local intel. We keep telling you it's a good idea to go hang out at the bar. That's not a good idea to hang out at the you bar. You get good info. OK, so maybe I stole this idea from the guy at the bar last night. But as the saying goes, talent borrows and genius steals. Let's just hope I'm a genius today. All right, well, let's see if this works. There's a bird out to your port, Jerry. Yeah, I see him. See him out hovering out there? Yep, I see him. Throwing him? Hold on. Still got him? Yep, I got him. Still good? Yeah, oh, they're hold tight on. down to the water, too. Yep, hold on. You almost there, Jer? Uh, all right, get ready. This is going to be good. Tell him when, Jer. Now! Bro! Go ahead, give it. You're good, you're good, you're good. Come on, pick it up. Oh, I don't know if he's there Pick yet. it up. There he is. Pick it up! Fish on. Hey, he's in. All right. Pick it up, Chris. Pick it up, Chris. Come on, double. Double, double. Double? Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm under, I'm under. Uh, I'm I think mine's a bonita, guys. What do you feel like, Chris? It's a bonita, I think. Bonita? Yeah, he's got no weight. Well, Chris may have only caught a bonita, but the good news is the technique works, and we're starting to get bites. Going back. Oh, oh, oh. Fish slap. Fish slap. That was good practice. Let's hope this strategy pays off. And Go! Oh. He's on. On. Nice. Chris is on. All right, Chris. Good job, buddy. What is it, Chris? I think it's the elephant. Does it have any weight? A little bit. It might not be elephant, actually. I got the fish identifier right here. Get him close enough. I'll show you what he is. Thought I had a yellowfin tuna on my line. But typically, they give a bigger fight than this. This one's either tired and old or another type of fish. Cut it over port a little bit if you can, Jer. It's cooperating too much. Be right there, ain't he? It's a yellow. Hold, Hold on, on. OK. There you go. 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 One more time. Right here. Nice shot, nice shot Rob. Good night, nice Sally. Nice shot, Robbie. Get him in the boat. That's a good nice size, yellow. Nice fish, nice guys. Work. Nice That's folks. how we do it. That's why practice pays off. Yeah, Bob. Nice work, guys. Yeah. Good job on the wheel. That's what we're nice waiting work. for. That's what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure I'm in the lead now, which means it's time for Dave to start panicking. Never thrown a bucket of bait <laughs> to catch a fish before in my life. That's a fun way to catch a fish, huh? <laughs> I like catching a fish in a lake. <laughs> that just shows us, Dave, every place that we travel, it's a different kind of fishing. We got to adapt. We got to learn. It's completely different than the way we fish for yellowfin at home. But we always figure it out. Nice moves. 